Dear viewers, today we will be learning about the mediastinum. And for this understanding, I will be using various models as well as a plastinated specimen. Now, what is a mediastinum? Mediastinum is the space which is present between the two lungs. And if you look at on this model, where you can see anteriorly, my mediastinum is bounded by the sternum. This is the manubrium and that's the body of my sternum. And posteriorly, what do we have? We have thoracic vertebrae. Superiorly, we have superior thoracic aperture. And inferiorly, this mediastinum is bounded by the diaphragm, which closes my inferior thoracic aperture. Now, if you can pay attention, you can see this line, this joint, which is between the manubrium and the body of the sternum. And if we draw a line, which goes horizontally backwards, this imaginary plane will be transecting in between the bodies of my fourth and the fifth thoracic vertebrae. Now, you are looking at this imaginary plane which is represented by my probe. Now the area above to this imaginary plane from the superior thoracic aperture to this black horizontally going plane that will be denoted as superior mediastinum and the area below to this imaginary plane up till my diaphragm that will be known as the inferior media stinum. A horizontally going plane and that plane is going backwards and it is transecting in between the bodies of my fourth and fifth thoracic vertebrae. This, the junction between fourth and fifth thoracic vertebral level, it's a very important landmark and so many important anatomical events are occurring at this location. Because of this imaginary plane, the area above to this line is known as the superior mediastinum and below to this line in between my diaphragm and this horizontal line, this area is given the name of inferior mediastinum. Now the heart comes and lives in the inferior mediastinum and that's why my inferior mediastinum is divided. So, the heart comes and lives here. So, in an area in front, that is my anterior mediastinum and the place where heart and its coverings are, that is my middle mediastinum and behind the heart is the area which is known as the posterior mediastinum. So, many important tubular structures, they are connecting my upper body to the lower body and they pass through my posterior mediastinum. Now I will be explaining the mediastinum with the help of this model. But before going in detail, first of all, let me give you an orientation of this model. This model is showing us the rib cage, the sternum has been shown, the costal cartilages and the ribs. They are clearly visible. And there you can see at the upper end, these are the clavicle, this is my jugular notch. There you are looking at the thyroid gland. And there you can see the veins, the great veins. And then through these ribs, you can see the costal surface of my lungs. Now we have to remove all these to see underlying structures. Now, exactly you are looking at the space between my lungs and the place where my probe is, I am in the media stinum. And what we have done, we have removed the heart and its coverings and the great vessels which are connected to it. And now you are looking at the space which is present between the lungs. This is my media stinum and we have divided it into superior and inferior mediastinum and then the inferior mediastinum because of the heart and its coverings is further divided into anterior, middle and the posterior mediastinum. 
Now I will be removing the lungs and placing the heart with its coverings and the great vessel so we can understand the complete organization of the structures who are located in the different compartments of my mediastinum, superior and inferior both. Now we are looking at the structures who are present in my superior mediastinum. This lobular structure which is very clearly visible to us this is nothing but the thymus gland and normally this gland it's not present it's only seen in the early part of the life later it disappears but as this model is showing so you are looking at the thymus gland and behind that you can see this left brachiocephalic and the right brachiocephalic vein to see the other structure i have to remove this thymus gland so after removing the thymus gland the structures which are very clearly visible to us we can see the great vessels you can see this ascending aorta then we can see the arch of aorta superior vena cava my left brachiocephalic vein right brachiocephalic vein vagus nerve phrenic nerve and sympathetic chain are not visible at the moment you can see very clearly the trachea and just behind the trachea we have the esophagus now from this side view we can see very easily the vagus nerve we can see this trachea esophagus and we can see this sympathetic chain and then we can see posterior intercostal veins which are draining into the superior intercostal vein which ultimately drains into my azygous vein now you are looking at the lateral view of the same model and there you can see this transversely going line horizontally placed line and below to it we have the inferior mediastinum if you see just behind the sternum in front of the heart this slit like space we call it anterior mediastinum and this anterior mediastinum it contains sternopericardial ligaments internal thoracic vessels parasternal lymph nodes and thymus gland if it is present the middle mediastinum primarily it contains heart with pericardium and then we can see the origin and termination of great vessels then we have tracheobronchial lymph nodes and then we can see the bifurcation of trachea with both principal bronchi you are looking at from the right side so this is the right principal bronchus when we look from the left side we will see the left principal bronchus the middle mediastinum it contains heart and its coverings and origin and termination of the great vessel you can see here the ascending aorta which is a component of my middle mediastinum now we are looking at the structures who are present in posterior mediastinum from the right side and what we can see very clearly here we can see here the descending aorta which is not nicely shown because we are looking from the right side you can see esophagus you can see this vagus nerve you can see this azygous vein along with its tributaries and then you can see the sympathetic chain now we are looking at the structures who are located in the posterior mediastinum from the left side and there you can see right in front esophagus then you can see the vagus nerve there you can see the descending thoracic aorta along with its 
branches. There we can see the accessory hemiazygous and down you can see the hemiazygous vein and more laterally you can see the sympathetic chain. Thoracic duct is not visible in this model. Now let's look in this plastinated model. We are looking from the left side. Right in front you are looking at the sternum and there you can see the cut edges of the ribs and costal cartilages and this slit like area that is my anterior mediastinum. This is the heart with its coverings that will be my middle mediastinum and on top you can see the ascending and the arch of aorta are very clearly shown and then if you look back you can see this structure that is my descending thoracic aorta and if you can pay attention you can see sympathetic chain and there you can see each intercostal space and the intercostal nerve vein and arteries has been shown. Now we are looking at from the right side the mediastinum there we can see the fibrous pericardium which was covering my heart. This is the azygous vein which is arching over the hilum of my lung and there you can see the sympathetic chain. And at the bottom you can see the right dome of the diaphragm. And if you can pay attention you can see very clearly just in front of the hilum of my lung this structure that is my phrenic nerve. You can see it's going all the way down to be innervating to my diaphragm. Now let's review. The superior mediastinum above to my imaginary plane and what are the structures who are present in this location? We have the great vessel, vagus and phrenic nerves, thoracic duct, trachea, esophagus and thymus gland if it is present and sympathetic trunk. Thymus gland is only seen in the early part of the life, later it disintegrate. Coming to the inferior mediastinum, the first component we have said is the anterior mediastinum. Where is the anterior mediastinum? That's the location in front of the heart and its covering. So anterior mediastinum, what does it contain? It contains sternopericardial ligaments, internal thoracic vessels, parasternal lymph nodes and thymus gland if present. Going to the middle mediastinum, this is the location where heart and its coverings are. So heart with its pericardial sac, origin and termination of the great vessels, phrenic nerve, tracheobronchial lymph nodes and tracheal bifurcation with both main bronchi right and left. Coming to the posterior mediastinum, where is located? Just behind the heart and its coverings. And what are the structures here? We have thoracic aorta, azygous, hemiazygous, and accessory hemiazygous veins, esophagus, vagus nerve, sympathetic trunks, splanchnic nerves, thoracic duct, and posterior mediastinal lymph nodes. So these are the structures who are present in my posterior mediastinum.